Hey everybody, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do this tonight or not, and hopefully I am showing up on your screen. I am not sure. I am making dinner for my family here, and I have a new thing that I would like to share with you. I've decided today that I am going to do a new promotion, and I would like to invite you all to join me. I was wanting to do something for November. Um, it's just a month of thankfulness, and we've had a lot going on here. We've had our hunting season and guests, and it's been a little crazy, and my mind wasn't really coming together with everything, and today it all just kind of fell into place. I would like to do 30 days of being gratefully prepared, and it's a challenge for 30 days for you to join me in being grateful for something in your life as well as adding something new um, in regard to preparedness to your life because they both really go together um, it sounds a little weird but when you start looking at your life um, in a fashion of gratitude in that you know everything you know we all get thrown lemons we all get thrown into valleys that are hard to surf but when you're able to see even the smallest of blessings and are able to be grateful for those small things that happen through the storm it really enables you to be a much happier person even though you may not feel like it when you're going through the storm and trust me we've gone through quite a few ourselves those of you that have been following us for a while have seen us go through our storms and we try to do it with a smile because storms are only temporary and they're going to come. And, you know, they may be a little longer than we'd like them to be sometimes, but they're just temporary and there's a lot to be learned through each of our storms. So my goal in my life is to always find those, even if they're minuscule blessings, to be grateful for through the storm and through our day to day. That's what I'm going to do. And when you're happier, you're able to function better. You're able to think better. You're, you're happy. You're joyful. Um, it's a great time to start changing habits and start focusing on the good instead of the bad and, and, and letting the negative go behind. And there's a lot of importance in being prepared. As many of you know, last year, you know, with my illness, we went six and a half months without an income. And we practice what we preach. And that was a real blessing for us in that we never went without food. We share constantly how it's so important to have a good food uh, pantry and, and have a lot of food and prepare and put up your food and know how to preserve your food and know how to hunt your meat. Right now I'm cooking up elk burger for my family. It's a blessing. And had we not, you know, have if we would live a life where we don't practice what we preach, we would have been have forced to forage from the wild on the cuff and, you know, really would have been in a bad spot. So being prepared is a huge, huge part of life. And our family really believes and really feels that the traditional and primitive skills that we know and we use on a daily basis here on our homestead are what are, what are going to carry us through our future. And, and, you know, life is unexpected. You never know what's going to be around the next corner. So knowing these skills and knowing how to preserve food and grow food and, and take care of your family and even be prepared for just something, you know, as simple as the lights going out and you're losing power. Those are such important things. And on our homestead, we focus daily on preparing for tomorrow. So if that means that tomorrow I'm stocking up on extra batteries because we ran out, or we're foraging firewood tomorrow because we need a large amount. Hi, Marty. Glad to have you joining me. And it's really, really important for these two to go together, I feel. Because when we're grateful, we have an open, a much more open mind to learning, to, to everything. I mean, when you're happy, everything goes well. It's when we're, we're stuck in those ruts and we're not paying attention and, and we allow ourselves to be there that we, we miss out on things. And that's why I felt this 30 day challenge was an awesome way to do things. And what I'm going to do is join you every day, I'm sorry, yes, every day at noon on Facebook Live. And we will share, um, I, I will share things that I am grateful for. 
Oh, awesome. Alexis, nice to have you from Arizona. And the rest of you out there, thank you for joining me. Let me know where you're from. I look forward to getting to know you over the next 30 days and instilling some great preparedness tips in you as well as teaching you how to focus on gratitude because it's a great way to live. And trust me, I'm sharing this because I live it. And it's a real important thing because there are days when I'm at, you know, pulling my bootstraps up too. You know, we don't, we don't all live, no matter how hard we focus on being happy people and, and, and being positive people, everybody suffers and everybody has those moments where we're just down in the dumps. So the more we focus on what we're grateful for and the more we focus on the blessings, the better life is. And being prepared, I can't say it enough, is one of the most important aspects of life. Oh, good deal, Marty. Glad to have you from Oklahoma. So today what I want to share with you is that I am grateful for my life, and I am grateful that I have the opportunity to share my life with you. And I'm looking really forward to getting to know you all more through this gratitude challenge. And um, my preparedness tip for you today is to get out, enjoy the fresh air, and do some form of exercise, whether it's walking, running, playing with your kids. Now, I will admit today I did not get outside. I rode seven miles on my exercise bike, and I did a little stretching and, and some, some weight training. So whatever suits you, but the most important part of this whole reason for me mentioning this is that with preparedness, you never know what's around the next corner, and you never know what you're going to have to do or what your challenges might be. And even if it's climbing in your pantry when you have stubby legs and can't reach a top shelf, grand I do have a little stool. But whatever it is, you know, we're always challenged to stretch ourselves out of our comfort zone, whether it's physically, mentally, whatever it is. And I feel that one of the best ways for us to take care of ourselves and our families and both our mental and physical state of mind is to get exercise. I have been on the healing side of my illness for, uh, gosh, almost two years now. And it's just something that I feel uh, I'm really missing if I don't get exercise of one form or another throughout my day. So take a 15 minute break, go for a walk, uh, ride a bike. You know, our weather was kind of off today and um, I was focusing on some other things, but I still make sure I get that in my day. So I want to encourage you as part of the preparedness challenge for the next 30 days to get out and to get some form of exercise. You know, even if it's just going outside and existing for a few minutes, the smells, the aromatherapy, I mean, I'm surrounded by tall timbers. You might be in the city, it might be a little different, but find your peaceful spot and just enjoy 15 minutes of quiet. You know, that also is a really good rejuvenator for our bodies and our minds. But if you can incorporate exercise, whether it's walking, doing stairs in the office, whatever it is, definitely um, utilize that time and, and put that into your schedule and into your life. because. Strengthening our bodies and keeping our bodies fit is so extremely huge. And we will progress on this challenge for the next 30 days, not just on our bodies and our fitness, but we'll be talking about, you know, um, levels of preparedness uh, for storms, level of preparedness for winter. There's all kinds of things we're going to discuss. So what I want you to do is every day I want you to join me by posting on your social media somewhere, adding a picture to Instagram, whatever it is. Um, in the description for this video, it has the notes. You can also go to our website and check out the um, post I put out there that explains all this. But you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash G for gratitude dash P for prepared. And when you're posting your photos or your, your information on social media, I want you to put the hashtag gratefully prepared and pound sign Treyer Wilderness. So use those hashtags. They're in the description below. But that way, at the end of the 30 days, I can go through. We're going to be going through regularly and pulling out and checking what everybody's doing. But we will select a winner, possibly more, but it, specifically one winner and uh, for their uniqueness and for their uh, continue, you know, continuous uh, involvement in this, in this challenge. So it is the 30, November 30 day, gratefully prepared challenge. So are you guys in, Alexis and Marty, are you guys going to join me and get involved in this and be more grateful throughout the next 30 days? I would love for you to share with me right now, what are you grateful for? What is one thing in your life that you're grateful for? I mean, when I talk to people about that and they have to think about it, that's exactly why I'm doing this challenge because 
There are so many things in our lives that we can be grateful for, even if we're going through a storm. Storms are rough. We've been through our share. But if you can't find the simple pleasures and the, and the small blessings in there, you got to open your eyes. The reason we're doing this is because so many people walk through life with blinders on and they're missing the best parts. And, and I want you to have your eyes open. I want you to be grateful. I want you to be blessed. And I want you to be prepared. And that's my goal. Awesome, Marty. Your health. That's great. That's great. And, and that is something huge to be uh, thankful for and, and grateful for. I am too. My health is returning and I am very grateful for that. But every day, I promise you, I will share something I'm grateful for. I, I feel so very blessed in my life. Even though we have rough spots, there's so much to be thankful for. Kids, family, essential oils, coffee. Coffee, yes, I know. I have to be careful drinking too much of that, but gosh, yes, coffee's one of my favorites too. And so much. I hear you, Alexis. There's just so much to be thankful for. So I want you to open your eyes with me. This light above me, I think it's blinding you guys, or bright. Sorry about that. But um, I have to tend to dinner. So anyway, um, join me. I want you to post on your on your social media pages and, and tag um, Gratefully Prepared and Treyer Wilderness and join along with me. Um, I just posted a picture on our Instagram page so you can join me there. But um, definitely tag us and everything so that we know what you're doing and that we can um, follow along with you as well. But I look forward to having you join me. This was like on the cusp and it's later in the day. But tomorrow at noon I will jump back on and share again with you what I'm grateful for and how you can better be prepared. So thank you guys for joining me tonight. I'm going to pop off of here and continue feeding my family. But I hope to see you guys tomorrow.